In the SurfCam tech tip for this month, I'm going to show you how to create a bounding box or a silhouette spline on this sample part. Here a bounding box has been created which gives me the footprint of the part. This is useful for figuring out stock size or as a tool containment boundary. Another type of spline is the silhouette. The silhouette spline will follow the edges of the surfaces based upon the sea view that you're looking at. Here you can see that from a top view. This can be used as a 2D contour or a tool containment boundary. We're going to begin by making a bounding box. To do that we go to Create, Spline, we select Surface Boundary, and then we're going to choose Bounding Box. I'm going to leave these settings at the default values and I'll click OK. Now I'll tell it that I want a bounding box for the visible surfaces. Click on Done and the process will begin. In just a few seconds we'll have our bounding box. One useful purpose for a bounding box is to figure out material size. Since it follows the footprint of the part, I can go to Analyze Elements and then click on the lines that comprise the bounding box and find out that this is about 10 and a half inches by 11. The second type of spline we're going to talk about is the silhouette spline. This spline will follow the edges of the surfaces based upon the sea view that you're looking at. We're going to go to Create and then down to spline, now back to surface boundary, and we're going to change from a bounding box to a silhouette. The next thing we'll want to do is change the resolution. This controls the accuracy of the spline. Here I'm going to make it five thousandths. Now click OK. We'll tell it we want a spline for the visible surfaces and then done. Now the calculation will begin. After a short time we'll begin to see the silhouette spline created on the part. Now that the spline has been created I'm going to remove the surfaces so you can see the silhouette boundary that we made. As you can see it follows the edges of the surface based upon the sea view that you're using. This can be used as a 2D contour or as a boundary for tool path or a possible parting line. When we go back to the top view you can see how closely the silhouette matches the edges of the surfaces. So if you need to calculate stock size, create a 2D profile for contouring, pocketing, tool containment, or a possible parting line, try using bounding box and silhouette splines in SurfCam.